Five-year-old Camden Johnson was forgotten in a daycare van and died just over a year ago. The daycare van driver allegedly dumped his body on the side of the road. The daycare he attended, community nursery and preschool, voluntarily shut down two months ago. Several weeks later, the building was demolished. We also learned the result of a lawsuit filed by Johnson's parents against the daycare. NBC 15's Cassie Fambro joins us now live with more. Cassie. The death of little Camden Johnson certainly shocked the Mobile community, changing the way that daycares are regulated. The daycare he attended, now just a pile of dirt. His teachers say Camden Johnson radiated joy, known as one of the sweetest students they taught. His horrible death, a painful shock, learning he had been abandoned in a daycare van in extreme heat. The driver of that van, Valerie Patterson, was arrested and charged after she allegedly dumped his body at a home in West Mobile. Today, the Community Nursery Preschool Academy on Hillcrest is no longer a reminder of what happened. It's an empty lot. The location at Hillcrest was voluntarily closed on September 17. The, uh, the folks who, who run that center still have three other centers that they're, that they're operating. Those owners are Angela and Carl Coker. The parents of Camden Johnson filed a lawsuit against them and Community Church Ministries days after their son's death. We've confirmed through court documents that lawsuit was settled just two weeks ago. We reached out to the Cokers for comment. A woman who identified herself as the owner, Angela, questioned us as we filmed at their Spring Hill location. You're not even on my property you're across the street, which is kind of weird to me anyway. I'm not allowed to be on your property. because I you know it. it. So, but you want my, my stuff over here, but that's crazy. We asked her to comment about Camden, the lawsuit, or her sinners, but she declined. Have a great day. DHR says even though they're operating under a religious exemption, they're meeting inspection guidelines at the three locations still open. The former Hillcrest location was discovered with 23 violations just two days after Camden's tragic death. Any of the, the exempt centers that receive subsidies right now are still undergoing a safe, health and safety inspection that we have. It's not the same as the licensing, but it, it covers a lot of the same things. They must be fully licensed by August 30th of next year under new legal guidelines. And here in Mobile, Camden Johnson, certainly not forgotten, Collier Elementary, where he attended school, has a path of kindness dedicated in his honor to remembering the light of the young life taken too soon. Reporting in Mobile, Cassie Fambro, NBC 15 News. Uh, Valerie Patterson, the woman accused of dumping Camden's body, has been indicted for manslaughter and abuse of a corpse. The indictment was handed down on September 21st, not entered into the court system until last Friday. No word on when she will head to trial.